Hello! We are the team Roverova from VSB Technical University of Ostrava. We are preparing our rover K3P4 for the University Rover Challenge 2022. Currently our team consists of 8 students, with each student being responsible for one subsystem. We have worked on this rover for a couple of years and went through multiple versions of the design. The rover's mobility system consists of an undercarriage with a rigid rocker suspension. The four wheels have integrated hub motors and the ability to turn each one individually, giving the rover the ability to drive using several configurations. Our 3D printed tires help the wheels get necessary traction and provide the rover with impact mitigation. This, along with the rocker suspension, gives the rover good driving characteristics in terrain with relatively high maximum velocity. Multiple analog FPV cameras are used for low latency feedback. Those are complemented by IP cameras that are high definition and capable of 4 times optical zoom. The cameras, along with real-time 3D visualization, provide good situational awareness for the rover operators. The rover can be controlled with a 900 MHz RC transmitter or over Wi-Fi. If a signal from the RC transmitter is not available, the rover automatically switches to Wi-Fi, thus providing control system redundancy. The video from analog cameras is transmitted over 5.8 GHz band. Video from IP cameras and webcams is transmitted over Wi-Fi. Together, these systems provide visual feedback redundancy. Therefore, even if the system loses Wi-Fi signal, we can still drive the rover with visual feedback. The rover is equipped with a 5 degrees of freedom manipulator that can reach the ground on three sides of the rover, which gives it versatility in terrain. It can grasp and carry objects of various sizes, weighting up to 5 kilograms, and pull heavier objects. We have implemented three ways to control the manipulator. A direct teleoperation joystick that can be used to intuitively control the arm with one hand. Automated mode can drive the manipulator to safe positions, or we can switch to an inverse kinematics mode for precise control. The arm is capable of pressing buttons, operating switches, inserting plugs, opening drawers, and more. The autonomous navigation program uses a GPS for global navigation and a Z2 camera for local obstacle avoidance. Two cameras with optical zoom are mounted on the chassis for visual tag detection. With these cameras, the rover can detect goalposts and gates up to 12 meters away. We are testing the navigation system in dynamic simulations and plan to test in real environments soon. For the science task, our team is preparing a laboratory module for sample analysis. The module will perform four tests, which will prove the presence of elements important for the origin of life and other essential compounds. After the tests are done, we will be able to tell whether there is life in the sample, or if there was life, or if the necessary compounds for life are present. This is the first generation of our laboratory module, and we are developing it as a rotating carousel. A robotic arm scoops up the sample and places it in the lab module. The lab has a volumetric hopper that allows the correct amount of sample material to enter the reaction. The excess material taken is then removed from the lab module. Due to the rotational layout of the laboratory, the operations we need can be performed on three samples using one sensory suite. Our team may be small, but our visions are big. 